Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kat. I thought today we could do a little Easter decor hunting, a little Easter ween. I wore my Elvira shirt that I got. Actually, Andy got me this, if you can see, for uh, Christmas this year. And I just had to layer it up because it's kind of chilly. But I thought we'd go to like Home Goods and maybe Marshalls. It's right actually in the same like parking lot. And then see what kind of like regular Easter stuff they have and then regular and like maybe stuff in the like darker aesthetic kind of vibe I'll bring you guys along yeah so I thought it'd be fun to do like maybe this little Easter ween Easter Halloween decor hunting and then do like a little Easter haul like of de decor and like little stuff I have um, that I've collected in another video so it is kind of that time where I don't really have much like there's like not a lot of fun, obviously not spooky stuff, but you just got to try to make it spooky. So we're going to make Easter Halloween. I have a few things from actual Halloween that I bought. They were like pastel vibes that I was saving for like spring Halloween, Easter Halloween. Um, so I'm going to bust those guys out and then maybe do like a little decorating or something and like a haul video. I think that'd be kind of fun. Okay. Without any further ado, let's go into home goods. So I have to do a voiceover because it was so loud blaring music, but this is $25, this cute little like cookie Easter house caught my attention. And then I got this bunny book for my son, Bo. I think he'll love it for his Easter basket. Every year, Home Goods comes out with like a creepy little elf and they have one for Easter. Actually kind of cute, like cute, creepy with little bunny ears. And then they had a couple, only like few of these black bunnies. There's this $20 one, kind of big. And then they had like a polka dot version of it, like right here. I want to say about $20 too. I'm not sure if I had the price on that one. And then, yeah, I couldn't find it. That was it. I was trying to find it. And uh, I thought that was kind of cute for a dark aesthetic for Easter. If you would like to keep it like that. And then there are these metallic bunnies. I maybe like hold. And there's a cement one, which I thought was kind of cool and different. And this cute little ducky. Um, that was really adorable. Like pastel vibes and glitter, of course. Oh my god, this one I love. I love this giant chocolate bunny. He's not an actual chocolate, but he looks like chocolate. <laughs> and I kind of want him for if I had like a porch that would be ideal. See, lots and lots of bunny stuff. I, I always go for like the food one, so immediately drawn to this little like macaroon bunny cake. <laughs> and where I would put that, I don't know, maybe a kitchen. I don't. Those are really cute for like Easter egg hunts or um, if you have to give stuff to a bunch of kids, uh, maybe like a classroom. And then they had, of course, these, oh, this drew me in, this cute little baby and mama bunny um, with the like metallic ears. I thought that was so cute, white and kind of like neutral. Um, and then this, this little ballerina bunny, I thought was adorable. I thought of my nieces for that and the beautiful egg with like, reminds me of Marie Antoinette next to that little bunny and more figurines and like, I want to say terracotta egg. I think it lights up with like a darker mama and baby bunny in the back there. And then like these little houses, like cupcake houses that light up. Um, and then like eggs for trees or Easter egg trees, uh, another little egg. And then, um, I saw lots of those type of things like cer ceramics. And then these were beautiful little Easter dinner plates or Easter lunch. I'm doing a brunch and I'm really excited for it. So I always got like, I actually have a few Easter, um, plates, really springy stuff here too. Um, I was just, I had to film this because I just thought it was really cute little gummy bear cup, like for iced coffee or something. And then uh, cherries and watermelons. I needed those for like summer and spring. I just thought that's so, so adorable. And then this cute little <laughs> chick, I want to say like a cookie jar. Oh yeah. And this like bunny mug kind of minimalist vibes for that this super cute lettuce I have actually have a bowl like that it's like a lettuce bowl for salad that I got here actually at home goods um and then these really cute little bunny mug 
Um, and then it looks like little candy dishes, kind of that like grandma vibes, but it, I'm, I'm here for it. Like I love it. And then, um, Peter Rabbit, lots of Peter Rabbit stuff. Um, you could put like candy or whatever in there and then really pretty plates, um, for like for Easter dinner or lunch or brunch for me. And then lots of kind of little, a pretty little Peter, um, or yeah, Peter Rabbit mug sets with a teacup bottom saucer. And then these really cute pastel floral towels that I want to believe, I think they're like in packs of two and then they have, I think they're about $10 each. Um, and I just wanted to give you like a view here of all of the ones they had out. A lot of neutrals, which I think are really pretty and perfect for most kitchens. And then this was really cute for like gifty bags. You have some people you want to just give little fun bags, not just um, an Easter basket. And then I thought this bag was really pretty with these floral, um, floral with bunny print. I just, I'm always drawn to stuff like that. <laughs> and I actually did buy these. I had believe yes I got the, I think I got those napkins I think they're so cute more Peter cottontail happy Easter um plates because I just feel like it's so much more easy for me to just like use them I have a bunch of people in my house for Easter brunch and like I can just throw them out these like these plates are adorable like I got a couple of these and the napkins and so home goods had a few little like black bunnies which is actually kind of cute um but I usually end up going towards like the typical Easter pastels. I really like that, but I want to try to incorporate maybe I was thinking like ghost in the garden or some kind of vibe like that. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm thinking, but it's got to be spring a weenie, spring a weenie. So yeah, let's go over to Marshall's and see if we can find any more Easter decorations. I'm sure there will be tons. Also, I'm kind of looking for like a St. Patrick's Day t-shirt because I'm not Irish at all, although I do look it, but I'm not, I'm all, all actually all Italian and uh, my baby is. So I'm trying to like encourage the Irish. I, yeah, my husband is and so Bo is. So I just think it's kind of fun to like, I want to celebrate it a little bit. We want to go to like a St. Patrick's Day parade and stuff. And I want to wear something. I was trying to find like a Lucky Bear, like Pear Bears t-shirt. I thought that'd be kind of cute. So we'll see if Marshall's has that as well as Easter and spring decor. Okay, let's go. So as soon as I walked in, first thing I saw was all the Easter candy to the right. And they had like these cute little lint bunnies. And then this little pug or like Boston Terrier with ears. I thought that was adorable. And then um, this little Peter Rabbit. Or no, that one's not Peter Rabbit. Just the Easter bunny and like candy dish. And then um, this really cute. That one was Peter Rabbit. Yeah. Peter Rabbit cup with a uh, straw and then uh, I thought he was adorable this kind of reminded me of Alice in Wonderland like little rabbit sitting on a mushroom that was $20 and he was really really cute and then um immediately was trying to get to this little umbrella and mama bunny with two baby bunnies I thought that was so cute what is it is it 20 I can't read it and then I uh, got the umbrella I thought that would be really cute outside and like these little figurines, lots of little bunny figurines. This one in particular I thought was adorable with the tulip. A little bunny sleeping under a tulip with a little chick on top. Oh my god. I just think that's so cute. And then the little bunnies in teacups. Little butts, little bunny butts poking out. Every other bunny. Freaking cute. And then these pretty little floral bags. I feel like these are just for like all the time. But it'd be cute in spring or summer. And then... um these blankets they didn't have a lot of blankets actually for easter but they did have these like mushroom this one i thought was really cool i know there was a lot of viral mushroom blankets and like pillows and sheets and stuff so if you see that i would grab it and then these pretty floral blankets just for springtime um and look the checkered one is cute and then there's this really cool black bunny here another one there's i think they only literally had one for like 13 dollars there yep and then there's this green like moss bunny i think that's boy uh it's martha stewart and then this one is like a, almost it looks like metal but i don't think it actually is metal and i think i just wanted to show you guys like this display yes this little cheek Ch cheek chicks <laughs> chick set was so cute oh my god he, they're so like fuzzy they're adorable and then the little bunny swinging on a tree oh, like they're really outdoing themselves this year these really cute pillows 
and then um, little like throw pillows on the top there, and then they had this little bunny one, throw pillows, and then there was a couple, like a set of them, and then I love anything that looks like chocolate, so <laughs> this was $15, and I loved the idea of putting that in like my kitchen, and the little like family set of bunnies, uh, lots of metallic bunnies, there's a set right here for like more of a, a neutral metallic vibe if you have that um, as your aesthetic. Uh, they have a bunch of those, some big ones, some medium ones. Like these guys are kind of enormous. They're pretty tall, but they'd be cool on like a mantle. And then um, this I saw and like my jaw dropped. This was, it looks kind of like, I think it was $130. I couldn't find the brand, um, but it's, I think it's real leather. Yeah, it was $130 and it's like real leather. So it was kind of expensive, but down from the original price. Very Betsy Johnson. Um, and then I went back to the <laughs> Easter decorations and that little bunny in with the chicks and the Easter egg. Was so cute. Another more, more of these little houses, like kind of gingerbread houses, but this was my favorite thing. I think I found the mushroom bunny combo was so cute that I really wanted for my garden. And then these really pretty little happy Easter kind of like almost like I look like they're hand sewn, but they're not actually, um, throw pillows were really cute too. And lastly, I did find a, on clearance some Halloween nail wraps, which I have to get. <laughs> okay, I'm back. And that was definitely successful for Easter decorations. There's a lot of really cute pastel stuff. Like a lot of like, I really love like little bunny and the mushroom combo. Like underneath the mushroom sitting like under the little mushroom. I thought that'd be so cute. Or like the rain, the rain guy with like... The little like he's holding an umbrella and then like they're two mama like it's like the mama bunny and like two baby bunnies and they're under an umbrella like I thought that was so cute I've been looking for something like that for like my stoop and it has to be something that can sit in the rain or like get wet because it will get wet and get ruined so I don't really want to break my own heart with that it's like feel like you guys are too low here okay okay I think that will be it for today I'm tired I need to eat and go want to go see my baby. So, um, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of this video, can you leave me a little bunny emoji down in the comments, um, to let me know you finished it. It means the world to me. It helps out my channel a ton. If you could like it and subscribe and that way I can put more videos out and you're helping me out so much. I think the next one will probably be like decorating for Easter ween decorating, Easter decorating, and like a haul or something like the stuff I've collected. Um, it's not a ton of stuff, but I thought it'd be fun to just do like a little combined video with all that Eastery stuff. Or I'm sorry, I haven't uploaded a video in the past like two weeks, I think it's been. I just, I don't know, it's like February is like a hard month for me. I tend to like not be very creative. I just like, like to get through it, but I wanna enjoy myself in winter and I wanna like try to make it fun instead of just like getting through every day. And I feel like a lot of people have that kind of issue because it's so depressing sometimes actually super super excited for spring summer more all the actual halloween stuff comes out in like june and i know it's kind of insane june and july you see a lot of it and like at home and stuff brings out all that halloween decorations the real deal halloween decorations so that won't be that far off honestly i'm like just looking forward to that and just it's trying to stay positive trying to stay positive if you made it here um thank you so much you are amazing listening to me chatty Kathy it up this whole time I appreciate you a ton listening hanging out to this part in the video you actually made it here I appreciate you so I'll put my glasses back on my Elvira glasses back on to match my shirt yes and it's actually sunny and super nice actually right now 40 degrees being nice because I'm so used to it being horrific anyway thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next video